even knives anymore, but I had somebody ask me for one. So I'm going to do a little bird and trout. Is that a piece of a half inch coil spring? So we're going to get after it. Not a whole lot to say about that. A little heat beating the feet, a little preform. Probably end up doing another video where I actually finish it, which is my favorite part. This is probably just going to be the forging of it. We'll see what happens. Stick around.
you made it to the end. So, this is part one, uh, bird and trout knife. Like I said before, I don't do many knives anymore. I hate grinding. I love making them, I love forging them. I hate finishing them. It's a pain in my ass. Pardon my French. But, without further ado, plain and simple. Nice in the hand. Eyes are coming up through. Let's turn and see if I can. Pretty basic, pretty simple. Started out as a piece of half inch round stock. Now I've got I've got less than an hour into this. It doesn't take a whole lot of time to... Yeah, hair in my mouth. It doesn't take a whole lot of time to forge it out. And the better you get, you can get it a lot closer. It's fairly straight. Nothing I can't grind it out. But you can get a lot closer to shape. A lot truer to form. Spend less time grinding on it. Um, for anybody starting out making blades, I would recommend leaving a little more meat on the blade itself. So if you're not forging in your bevels, grinding in your bevels, you want them nice and clean and, you know, whether you're doing a scanty grind or a hollow grind or whatever you happen to be doing. The other thing is just keep it cool. I couldn't tell you how many blades when I first started out I burnt the tips off of them on a, on a grinder. And that's, uh, I guess that goes to the adage, bladesmiths don't make, don't make mistakes, they just make smaller knives. But, that being said, I'm not a bladesmith. I'd hesitate to even call myself a blacksmith. Um, I am, I'm a hobbyist. I like to heat it, beat it, and repeat it a lot. But I haven't done anything in a while. I've been really busy here at home. We got a lot of projects going on in the garden and building projects and three little ones that definitely take up some time. It's all worth it. Not complaining. Um, but yeah, that's about that. So this is part one, part two, I'll grind it and handle it and probably do some fancy schmancy file work on it. And, but overall I'm, I'm happy with the form. Shouldn't take much to get it where it needs to be. It's a little bit longer and, and obviously if you watch this far you'll notice that I, I cut probably an inch off of the blade and then thinking that was going to be enough but I still ended up I got a mark right here on my hand though yeah I still ended up with about a four inch blade with probably probably a four and a half inch no yeah. just over a four inch handle so we you know we're right about eight inches, which is, can't quite stretch and hold it without the pointer finger. I know, me and myself personally, probably a lot of people do it, but not that I notice. I have a tendency to measure with this. I know how long each one of my fingers are, I know how long it is if I stretch and to each finger and probably mindless nonsense to a lot of people but it works for me it's crude but it gets me in the ballpark of where I need to be now that being said don't do that on a hot piece of steel not a great idea goes without saying but there are some people out there that you gotta tell 
So, without further ado, that's all I got for today. I'll be back and we'll finish this. Um, until next time, I'm out. Y'all have a good one.